Hello everyone, this is K1 from MBT. Welcome to the series of simulations on battery in MATLAB software. In this session, we're going to have a simulation on a single cell battery in MATLAB without thermal effect. So in order to start this simulation, we need to introduce some backgrounds on the Simulink library and its components in the MATLAB. So as an example, we simulate a pulse generator with a gain in the Simulink interface. This pulse generator uh, has an amplitude that produces a pulse and the gain here amplifies the amplitude of the generator. In order to show the results, we introduce a component called scope. As you can see on the right side, the third component from the left is the scope that we use this component in order to show the results. So now let's go to the MATLAB software and have this simple simulation in the Simulink interface. So now here we are in the MATLAB software. In order to start the Simulink from the Home tab, you can click on the Simulink option. This is the Simulink start page. From this page, you can select different models. The basic one is a blank model here that doesn't contain any components. Other models contain some components like source control, code generation, digital filter, and you can also have access to other products like aerospace block sets, audio systems, communications, and for our scope of simulations, which is battery simulation, we need to go to the Simscape product. But in this session, this is not the case, and we just select a blank model to simulate the pulse generator. So this is the Simulink interface. Here you can add different components in this area. In order to search for components, we need to go to library browser and here we have access to different sub libraries and different components. So in order to add the pulse generator, we need to go to the Simulink and to sources. In the sources sub-library, we have different components like constant. This constant component introduces a value of a component for as an input for another component. We have other components like ground, like ramp, like the pulse generator that we need for this example. We have also the sine wave and step or other components. So in order to have this pulse generator in the Simulink interface, you just need to drag and drop the icon. When you drag and drop it here, it asks you for a value for the amplitude of the pulse. You can give it a value or just click and skip it. Then you can double click on the pulse generator icon and see its parameters like amplitude, period, pulse width, phase delay, and you can also have a small equation here that defines the output pulses. This pulse type is time-based, so it varies depending on the time value 
And now for the amplitude, we give it a value of 5. And we leave other components, other parameters as by default. And click OK. Another component that we need here is a gain. A gain is a component that amplifies the value of another component. So here we want to amplify the pulse value coming from the pulse generator. So in order to add the gain component, we go again to the Simulink library browser and from here we search for the gain component. If you click OK, we have the gain component here. You have also other gain components from other libraries, for example from the aerospace block sets or from communication systems. But now we just use the simple one in the Simulink. So we drag and drop this component. It asks us for a value. The default one is 1, but we give it a value of 2. So the gain is gonna amplify the amplitude of the pulse generator by a value of 2. In order to visualize the results, we need to add a scope. So we search for the scope component. Now we can add the scope component to the interface. Now we can close the library browser. In order to complete the model, we need to connect these components together. So we connect the pulse generator to the gain component by drawing a line. Then we connect the gain to the scope to visualize the result. We also want to visualize the non-amplified pulse which is produced by the pulse generator. So by right-clicking on the middle of the first line and connect it to the scope, we can also visualize the non-amplified pulse from the pulse generator. So now the model is ready. We double click on the scope. We have the visualization panel. And now we can define the simulation stop time. We give it a value of 50. and start the simulation. So as you can see, the simulation period is 50 seconds. The blue lines are the pulse generator pulses. We gave it a value of 5 for the amplitude. So we can see amplitude of the blue line is 5 and then the gain is gonna amplify the pulse generator's amplitude by 2 so it gives us a value of 10 for the amplitude after the gain. So this is all for this sample simulation in the Simulink. I hope you enjoyed. 
Then we go to the next part and start the simulation of the battery in the Simulink interface. Have a good day.